Every day, students at Sandberg, Stagg, and Ander High Schools encounter innovative ways to prepare for their future. Teachers and staff are committed to presenting rigorous lessons that are relevant to students today and to their future plans, no matter what path they choose after graduation. Take, for instance, the app development courses where students develop apps of growing complexity. Geared toward the beginning programmer, these courses require a high level of personal dedication in order to successfully master the challenging concepts that are covered. Computer science used to be a college degree. There's a huge push to bring it down to high school levels, even the elementary levels, so that kids are starting to taste it, understand it, become frequent with it. There's going to be even more and more demand for people who know how to program and people who know how to create apps. I know definitely in my future I'm going to go in a career field similar to this and I know this can only help me in my career field as I move on with my life. Technology is ever evolving. The coding part of it, we depend on it for banking, our washing machines, our dryers, they're all coded. You know, the coding part is definitely the science. We don't think twice about when we're using an app and you have a button here or a button here or a text field here. We don't even think twice about that. But there was a lot of thought process from the designers. There is definitely an art and a science to that. The expansion of District 230's digital learning program allows teachers to blend online and in-classroom lessons with the use of Chromebooks and related apps. Lessons and assignments are presented through Canvas, allowing more flexibility during class time for an in-depth discussion and collaboration. This is the first class where all the lessons are online and I have to rely really on myself to push myself to learn it. Using technology really helps students to learn um, time management better than classes with more of a strict schedule. And it teaches us how to be more independent and not just rely on a teacher, but to actually learn the information. They've taken the initiative to be more organized and to be uh, better students, better learners. The students aren't um, re requiring as much extra time outside of class, so the students are learning better in shorter amounts of time. And I think that teaching other students helps them to master the information. Demonstrating students' mastery of concepts takes an innovative twist when breakout EDU is introduced in the classroom. Students apply problem solving and teamwork skills as they decode puzzles and crack clues related to literature they have been studying. And lockdown! We actually look, view technology in the classroom as something that brings students closer together rather than something that isolates students. We all have this traditional idea or this fear that students will just be staring at screens and not speaking to each other. So instead what we try to do is we try to utilize the technology to actually have more collaborative activities, whether it's a discussion board, breakout EDU game, a group project, and it also gives all the students an opportunity to be leaders in the classroom as well, especially when they have a better handle on a technological tool that we're utilizing. In those instances, the students actually get to help pull their classmates forward as they show them how to use those uh, technologies or tools. The thing that excites me the most about this is it helps build on skills that you will need throughout life in a fun and exciting way. It's not a simple discussion that we have in class. We actually get to get inside in the book and find something new about the book and actually do an activity instead of just sitting around in class and reading the book and answering questions. We have to actually find ourselves and know how to use the text. My students actually enjoy the activity. They like the activity. They're actually learning and having fun at the same time, which is not always the easiest thing to pull off. Students moving all throughout the media center, trying to figure out the clues and the puzzles that we've created for them. When they actually do figure out a clue, and that's the best thing. We actually see students working on something that they're legitimately excited about. It's awesome. There's nothing better. I get chills when I talk about it. Oh, we got it! We got it! There's nothing more relevant than learning how to work together. I think the technology more is like the initial sounding board but the way the classroom is also set up and the way that the students uh, work in groups allows them to work through the material with one another. They're learning how to research and find the answers on their own. So all those things that they will do as adults and college kids. District 230 prides itself on innovative learning that prepares students for an ever-changing global world. Technology 
supports rigorous lessons that prepare students for their future.